Today, we're going to be giving you a closer look at this Outer Dew sleeping bag, which, as you can see, zippers into kind of like a pantsuit that you can move around in, and then those zippers come forward and slips, and it zippers into a regular sleeping bag. Now, Jeff is demonstrating wearing this, and he is 5'9", and this is marketed as an adult size sleeping bag. However, uh, for a man uh, with a height of 5'9", it's a pretty snug fit. You can see it tugging down at his shoulders, and um, yeah, it's tight fitted, like those, <laughs> those legs, it goes up as high as it possibly can, um, and that's the sleeping bag. Uh, now the filter in this, or there's, sorry, the filler in this is imitation silk. The sleeping bag is waterproof. Um, it's definitely more for a shorter person, perhaps a teenager, um, or a child that's a little bit taller. Um, but it is really portable and really light. And, uh, with its compression bag, it's space saving as well. And, uh, yeah, and this as far as a temperature range. It's 5 degrees Celsius, so about 41 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you live in places that are like a mountainous region, um, you're not going to want to use this anytime but summer because even in the summertime up in the mountains, it will get cold. So in the fall and spring, you would be pushing it. And it's definitely not made to be a winter bag, but you can stay warm. You can see um, you can have your arms out of there. You can have your arms zippered in. It's got a hooded area as well. And we're going to show you all these complicated zippers that you have for adjusting this. Okay, so Jeff couldn't be too much taller wearing this. Look happier. <laughs> Are you comfortable? You know, actually, it, it is a different, interesting sleeping bag that, uh, obviously, like Mary said, is not for tall people. Yeah. I'd say 5'9 is tops. Um, so if you're 5'9 or shorter... You can go for the sleeping bag. Um, it is interesting, like you said. You can make basically zippers into a mummy bag. We'll do that in a sec. But if you want it to be like this, you can walk around in it. It has little footies down there, so it is soft. It's not just uh, walking on the sleeping bag. There's some footies which I'll show you. You got your arms out, so you never have to take it off if you don't want to. It's an interesting concept. But let's go ahead and uh, all the zippers do flip around. You want to come in? Yeah. All the zippers do flip around so they can be on the inside. You zip them up and then the zippers on the inside so you can continually do that. Um, this does widen it a little bit here on the top, just in case. In case you're broader in the shoulder and chest area. You do have the zippers on the side that go all the way down to the bottom. So it does open up. It could be used as like a blanket, but you know, um, let's, I'll get out of this here quick. And then I'll sh we'll show you how to zip it back up into the mummy bag. I can get out of it. And I'll show you little footies that are in there as well. There we go. So you can either sleep in it or definitely look ridiculous. Bag, not thick. <laughs> um, it's definitely a summer bag, but uh, the legs just uh, pretty easy. Zip it. The zippers pretty. Zippers are pretty nice and and uh, big. Yeah, they're heavy duty. Yeah, so they're not gonna rip or you know break or anything like that anytime soon. Um, and I do like how they're they go in and out, so you can have it on the inside of the sleeping bag as well. But anyway, you zip it all the way down to the bottom there. And as you can see at the top here, like it just zippers uh, there at the crotch, and you do have a small opening, so it'll just zipper up to this point and up to this point. Yeah. So anyway, as you can see, here's a little footy that your feet go in, so it's kind of nice. It is. It look uh, feels like a fleece. Yeah. So uh, that will keep your feet a little bit warm. Um, but as you see, it opens up like that. And then basically, it zippers like that. And we'll do that really quick. So you can show you um, each one. So this one starts at the bottom. This zipper starts at the top. But it's just like zipper in a coat. So you take this, put it in that little hole right there. Of course, I always had troubles with my jackets when I was a young kids so he's still struggling as everybody anyway get it in there just like that zipper shut down there at the bottom and do the same thing for the top metal piece goes right in through there 
So make sure when you're turning this into the pants, you want to take the zippers down from the top on um, the front here as well as the back so that you have all four of those zippers meeting at the bottom. And just like that, it comes from a man suit or woman suit, whatever you want to call it, to a mummy sleeping bag with arms. But, um, so it's not for, like I said, it's not for a, a big tall person. 5'9 is shorter, um, but it's nice uh, uh, hiking, uh, maybe uh, easy camping bag. You got this compression bag um, that, you know, just stuff sack, just stuff it in there. I like the colors, by the way, orange and blue, or bright orange and blue make a good combination of colors. Um, yeah. So if you're interested in that, it is a nice color scheme. But you got your compression bag, shove it in there, just like so, really easy. And then, I'm going to take the tags off of it, but you pull that. This would really be great for scouts, um, you know, your boy scouts, out camping. It's easy for them to carry, and it doesn't matter that... Um, you know, most of them won't be taller than 5'9", so. Right, so, it's true. Um, but the compression bag, it, it's sewed on, so you'll never lose these straps, which is nice. You just Definitely kind of pull nice. them off to the side when you pull out your sleeping bag, put them back up like that, and then you take, uh, your straps here. Sometimes a little hard when they're short. Pull them a little bit. And then you just grab like that and pull down, go to the other side, pull along so you can grab them, take it, pull it down, and uh, you know, obviously I didn't stuff it the greatest, but you can get that pretty compact and I can go a little bit farther if I wanted to. Yeah. It's pretty heavy duty uh, straps there, and like I said, it's sewed on, so it's good and heavy duty. So you can get this pretty small. And then, you know, you got a little handle here if you need to. But it's a little crappy job I did there, but I didn't stuff it the greatest, but really quick. And it's small and lightweight also. Yes, yeah, very, very lightweight. It's, it's uh, not heavy at all. So it's a good hiking you could take, bag. You could take that with a clip and just clip it onto the bottom of your back of your backpack. Yeah. So For sure. it's a nice compression bag. It's not the greatest fill. That's why it's a summer bag, uh, probably 50 degrees. Um... But yep, it's the imitation a, silk on the fill. A walking slash mummy bag. So a walking mummy bag. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and it's not a bad idea. I have been laughing at Jeff quite a bit when he's been walking around in it. But it's not a bad idea. And I'm sure that, you know, your teenage Boy Scouts would probably love this. Our son actually really wants to get his hands on this. And he wants to wear it around. So, um... Yeah, you know, if you've got a cold morning out camping, you know how difficult it is some mornings to get out of your sleeping bag when it's super cold? Uh, with this one, you really don't have to. Just adjust some zippers and zip yourself into pants, and you can stay in your sleeping bag while you eat breakfast. Yep, and and as I was wearing it inside the house here, I mean, I was uh, starting to sweat. So, I mean, obviously there's, there's fill in there, and it will keep you a little warm. So, it's definitely not for winter camping, though. Yeah. But it, it will definitely trap in the heat of your body and, you know, keep you warm as if you're wearing a coat, right? Yep. A full body coat. A full body coat <laughs> that you can also sleep in. Okay, so that's your closer look at the sleeping bag and how it works and the nice little compression pack. I really like that. Not too many sleeping bags can you get down um, very tight and come back like this. But you've got a nice lightweight, and you can easily clip that on to any kind of um, bag and carry with you. If you're out hiking and you need to make camp somewhere, this is a nice one to have, as long as you've got some nice um, moderate, warmer temperatures. You could be a little bit chilly in this in the fall or spring, and definitely too cold in the winter. Um, but maybe you could alter this um, if you were to be up in the mountains or fall and spring if you had like a nice sleeping bag liner that you could put in to adjust it and make the temperature warmer. Uh, but that's what you're looking at with this one. Not for a tall person and definitely not for very cold temperatures. Um, but otherwise, that is the sleeping bag.